there are more than 10,000 extremist websites on the internet, compared to fewer than 100 countering them, an analyst Tuesday told a conference, which stressed the need to rebut militant propaganda. In many ways, the terrorists are very successful in cyberspace, said counterterrorism analyst Rowan Gunaratna, who heads the International Center for Political Violence and Terrorism Research in Singapore. It is very important for us to build in the next 10 years the capacities and capabilities to counter the increasing presence and the operation of these groups in cyberspace. Speakers at the International Conference on Terrorist Rehabilitation and Community Resilience said, moderate Islamic groups and governments should make a concerted effort to counter extremist propaganda on the Internet. North Dakota Governor Jack Dalrymple signed the nation's most restrictive ban on abortions Tuesday, in what he said was a deliberate attempt to test the Supreme Court boundaries of Roe v. Wade. One of three new laws bans performing an abortion after a fetal heartbeat can be detected, which could be as early as six weeks into a pregnancy. Doctors performing such abortions could face up to five years in prison. Women in having such an abortion would not face charges. A second measure bans abortions based on genetic defects such as Down syndrome, and a third adds new hospital admitting requirements that would make it more difficult for North Dakota's sole abortion clinic in Fargo to remain open. A woman who tried to kill a snake by setting it on fire inadvertently managed to burn her own house down. The unnamed woman from Texas had been cleaning her windows when she encountered the troublesome reptile. In an effort to get rid of it, she took some petrol and doused the snake before asking her son to come and set it on fire. The tables turned, however, when the serpent slithered into some nearby bushes, setting them alight as well. The blaze promptly spread, engulfing both her and her neighbor's houses in flames. We were trying to kill a snake with fire, she said over the phone to the emergency operator. The fire department was promptly dispatched, but despite their best efforts the house was almost completely obliterated by the blaze. The fate of the snake is currently unknown. A nationwide survey shows that more than half of the country's rivers and streams are in poor biological health, unable to support healthy populations of aquatic insects and other creatures. The survey, released Tuesday by the EPA, sampled nearly 2,000 locations in 2008 and 2009 from rivers as large as the Mississippi River to streams small enough to wade in. It found that the nation's rivers and streams are being polluted by high levels of the nutrients phosphorus and nitrogen, which wash into them from farms, cities, sewers. They're also threatened by development. Conditions are worse in the east. More than 70% of streams and rivers from the Texas coast to New Jersey coast were in poor shape. Streams and rivers are healthiest in western mountain areas, 